again um you reach one play one voice um there is where liberians meet other national around the continent of africa to promote nothing but peace love and unity bringing by the african tradition to the usa let's unite it's all about african connection so um yesterday uh we had a march uh grand jide versus nima or nima versus grand jide you know um the marchers play uh one thing we want to educate our young generation uh to remain at peace uh despite whatever happened uh we have um authority in place for a reason uh they're going to investigate um to the 40th but we were in one play one voice uh because we promote nothing but peace love and unity uh for the country of our origin uh mama liberia uh we we strongly against uh, what happened yesterday um on the field of play at the skd sport complex uh we we asking you know that uh our young people uh know the true meaning of a uh, county uh march uh we we, we want to just educate them uh uh going around the play from county to county uh, it's how we bring about peace. Uh, it's how we bring about unity among, you know, our our fellow colleagues, uh, our brothers, our sisters. Um, so um, one play one voice. Uh, we strong against what happened among uh, the young people on a few years today, where there was a lot of interruption, um, damage, you know, of of properties. Uh, we don't think that is cool it is not cool at all uh i'm here to to maybe address um the situation that occur on the field of play um and what can we do to put measures in place uh when it comes to leaders um or a team that actually trying to be uh to encourage young folks to come and play on the skt in liberia i think the rules should be well clear even though, um, according to Spoon Network, um, the LFA has spelled uh, referee Josepha uh, Toji Tojila. I hope I pronounced the name right. Um, uh, but we, we, we still need to do something. Uh, I, I believe, uh, for one play, one voice, this is our take. Um, I suggest that we try to, to really revisit our policy of the facility right uh because this just, it just doesn't show uh, uh goodness in the way it come to the international scene right uh, i don't think it was a very great behavior uh, we understand uh, things happen yes we understand uh you is trying to believe that um a referee she did you know on a field uh against grand g uh, we, we we got it but I think there should be argument, right? There should be your 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 complaint should be table uh, in the rightful direction to the rightful authority to be able to investigate and come up with solution. I think that's how uh, we should present ourselves. Uh, uh, you know, those days of violence, those days of chaos. You know, it's over. And we want to make sure that our young generation understand this, you know. So, therefore, uh, we 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 urge that the young people uh, understand the true meaning of county leagues. We we meet to celebrate one another. We meet to celebrate our counties around Liberia because those various counties, you know, put together make Liberia. You know, Liberia, you know, went through a lot already, you know, so we don't want to go, you know, back in the dark days where we trying to go against one another. So I think um, it is a national concern. And that's why one play, one voice is here. Well, we are also here sometime when we do good in Liberia, we bring it out here. And of course, when there's something going on bad, uh, damages, you know, we also bring it on uh, the network of one play, one voice. And that's how we come in to uh, also promote peace, love, and unity. And that's what we're pushing here on One Plume Voice. So again, um, I will take this time to just... Um,
quickly bring what happened on the field for the audience to see. Uh, you can leave your 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 your, your comment in the chat section. You know, uh, tell me how you feel. Uh, feel give me some good suggestion on what we should do uh, moving forward. Um, it is important that we give our young folks, you know, these talks because it is important. You know, we want to make sure that they play and be able to embrace one another. So again, um, leave your comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, I just want to bring a brief, you know, um, story of what happened yesterday on the field of play at SKD, Samia Kayando Sport Complex. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Tension keep building that the fans of our Grand Zina County want to make their way in to see how best they can get to the referee. Similar situation occurred here yesterday against against the Bombing County. And there you see it. Uh, I think the security apparatus needs to be very careful here. If not, there will be a lot of destruction here. Yeah, there you see them throwing the, the player bends down. And security, apparently, there you see another one again. He's pushing it. He's destroying it. <laughs> I tell you, there is not any good level of sportsmanship here. Even though there was an error and a chair has been broken. Ah, you see it? They, ah, there you see it. They are throwing the player benches down. And this will be a destruction here. Elijah, I don't think it's, it's, it's a good sportsmanship here. It's not a good sportsmanship. I'm seeing a lot of stuff in the game of the club. I'm seeing from Grand Zina County. I'm seeing the scope of the water as well. I think it's for scope. I tell you, security apparatus are coming. They are still, I, I think Grand Zina are making a way to see if they can get to the referee. Will be caused here. Yeah. The security apparatus needs to no, come here. You don't have the number of security for this kind of people. Then yeah, the you see it, they destroy it. Liberia could be banned again. Liberia could be banned. There you see it. Fans are destroying. Fans are destroying. And you see it. The thing was removed. And you see it. They are destroying. Uh, as we call for the security apparatus, as we score, the summer kind of sports complex is not in a good. It's not in a good look. And of course, the security apparatus. There you see it. Destroying grandidents. There you see it. They are busting it. They are busting it. I don't know why they are busting it. They're destroying things here. The Indians are destroying things here. Serious security attention leader here. Serious security attention leader here. They are destroying things here. So again, uh, you tune into one play, one voice. Uh, this is where Liberians be on a national around the continent of Africa to promote absolutely nothing but peace, love, and unity, bringing back the African tradition to the USA. So again, uh, we urge our young folks to refrain from um, what happened uh, during the county. Lay. Uh, we have more game to be played uh, among various counties you know um so we want to educate uh, our young people that um 
the essence of the game is to bring us together, you know, from one, you know, a county. As you know, um, it's diverse, you know. We have different tribes, or you might want to call it dialect uh, within Liberia, um, where I was born and raised, um, and I strongly believe uh, in that country, Liberia. Uh, we, we we oftentimes pray that one day we uh, some of us should go uh, to bring some change within the country. But again, um, I, I I think that was not a good you know um, good luck you know for our young folks, you know being very violent on the field. It doesn't matter who was doing what. Uh, the essence here is that uh, we want to uh, to show our young folks that we care for them, um, we love them. Um, so um, one play one voice. We strongly believe that um, the authority um, should be able to revise some po policy. Right to educate these young folks um, on a field of play. Uh, whenever something happens, then it's time to make some changes within whether it be a policy or whether it be the rules of the field of play. I think those things should be very well implemented. Uh, I think we should try to pull uh, um, center together to educate our young folks uh, what it means to to have a county lead match right uh what it means to go against one another uh we understand things are going to happen sometimes it it got to do with feelings you know some i mean so we understand you know you go to, to play and somebody cheating the game and it will get to you you'll get angry but we also want to educate our young folks that um despite being angry we uh there's a way there's a solution you know there's a way that we can uh um put our case you know and see uh whether it's going to be well investigated you know so these things all should be plain as once um we also want the government of liberia uh to to come in you know do some intervention you know ask why these things happen uh what is going on uh do we look in the rules or see if we can revise the rules and try to educate our young folks on how to play and how to uh, maintain uh, behavior with on the field because these things we're doing here um, it reflects the country image uh, what believe it or not um, from experience I just believe that um, it, it make the country look bad and that's why we urge also leaders to be very careful in terms of what um, we do in the country, uh, in terms of how we serve our ministries in Liberia, uh, in terms of uh, how we serve our people, um, and also changing the mindset where um, we, 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 we get to understand that um, the citizens of Liberia, we have election every six years, right? So they come together to exercise their right by voting for us leaders into various offices right um they put us there for us to look in their interest uh, so the question come um why liberia remain to be like this why are we always like this okay uh i think some of the suggestion or the recommendation will be um let's try to serve our people right uh sometimes people just don't understand rules and these things got to be explained within the classroom if you had to set our people a uh, find a place you know support them support the young generation support them to the 40th uh leaders um again we give many thanks um to the jnb government um uh who you know trying to come in to settle i, I try to believe i look at them like they stay trying to settle uh, uh we have um, criticism is coming in soon, um, but we at one play one voice. What we do is uh, we we give that leader a chance, you know. And our block is at least one year to some, you know, few months, and then we come to start to evaluate and begin to criticize to see what's going on in the country. But I think, um, from my understanding, Liberia is pretty much. Um, trying her best as compared to the previous you know um uh leaders that was aimed to her various offices uh i strongly believe there was a lot of corruption and a lot of stuff going on in the country but um yeah there is always going to be a problem no matter what you do there is no perfection uh, so uh, i want liberia to understand that uh no matter what leader take pl take over in africa specifically in liberia you know there's going to be that 
corruption it's not going to be 100 percent you know like okay you know but one thing we want to uh, to emphasize on is how we are looking back at our young folks what are we doing for them uh, uh how are we enhancing their lives because that's that's very important because uh if we lead a country uh tomorrow we expect the young folks to come into the, these various offices or what you want to call ministries to be ministers, uh, deputy ministers, uh, representing various districts. So we want to also educate them as we go along, you know, the path of leadership, of how we implement good governance of the country of Liberia. And this is where we come in as one play, one voice, uh, because we do nothing but promote peace, love, and unity. And we also give suggestions out to our people. So again, once more, um, I hope uh, the authority look into this and be able to really come down with some uh, uh, very revised ruling to set example on how to be well behaved on the field, educate our people. You know, uh, sometimes they're going to lose. Sometimes things will happen, but they don't have to go as far as trying to destroy properties around uh, the complex. You know, we try to rebuild. Uh, we never want to do damage again. Okay, so again, um, a federal Liberians in Washington from anywhere in the world, just give a comment, um, give a suggestion. What do you think? How, what can we do to make things different, you know, for the next game? You know, so again, I, I hear people saying, you know, game, brain, tribalism, and all this stuff. I don't believe in those stuff. You know, I believe in um, being one people, having one voice coming together and try to continue maintaining the peace and unite ourselves as brothers and sisters. Uh, and when we do this, I think as a country, we go going to, uh, you know, uh, bring great improvement uh, in terms of all sectors and what we do in the country. So again, uh, once more, you tune into one play, one voice. Uh, there is where Liberians meet other nationalities around the continent of Africa to promote nothing but peace, love, and unity. Until we meet, I just want to say, young generation, keep your peace. You know, try to concentrate and try to demand more support from authorities uh, to make sure that you guys do well in the country. Uh, they is your advocate. Um, Jepo Sky always advocating for the young generation of Liberia. Uh, we pray for them. We hope that our leaders understand uh, the platform of rescue. Uh, we believe that this is a rescue train. Uh, we believe that uh, rescue teams should make everyone uncomfortable uh, from wherever they work. And you know, when we find corruption, we got to make sure we take a stand. Uh, so far, so on. I like uh, what I'm saying so far. Um, and I hope. We ourselves, when we get into the very position, should be able to serve our people being very transparent, coming with accountability, and also not only accountability, but we also want to have what you call transformation. Uh, until we meet again, um, you tune in one play, one voice. We promote nothing but peace, love, and unity. And we will be here to give you some update from Liberia. Have a nice day. keep building that the fans of our Grand Gina County they want to make their way in to see how best they can get to the referee. Similar situation occurred here yesterday against against the Bombing County. And there you see it. Uh, I think the security apparatus needs to be very careful here. If not, there will be a lot of destruction here. Yeah, there you see them throwing the, the player bench down. And security, apart that, I see another one again. He's pushing it. He's destroying it. <laughs> I tell you, this is not any good level of sportsmanship here. Even though there was an error and a chair has been broken. Ah, you see it? They, ah, there you see it. They are throwing 
the player benches down and this will be a distraction here. Elijah, I don't think it's, it's, it's a good sportsmanship here. It's not a good sportsmanship. I see Elijah starting to bring up the Michelle from Grand Tudor County. I'm seeing the scope on the water as well. I think it's frustrating. I tell you, security apparatus are coming. We are still, I, I think Grand Tudor are making a way to see if they can get to the referee. will be caused here. Yeah. The security apparatus needs to no, come here. You don't have the number of security for this kind of people. Yeah, the you see how they try it. Liberia the like could be banned again. Liberia like could be banned. There you see it. Fans are destroying. Fans are destroying. And you see it. The thing was removed. And you see it. We are destroying uh, as well call for the security apparatus. As well as for the summer kind of sports complex. It's not in a good it's not in a good look. And of course, the security apparatus that you see it destroying Grand Gidens. There you see it, they are busting it. They are busting it. I don't know why they are busting it. They're destroying things here. The Gillians are destroying things here. Serious security attention leader here. Serious security attention leader here. They are destroying things here. Good thing for, for Liberia. This is not a good thing for Liberia. This is not a good thing for Liberia. The things, the same things that continue to complain on government that they are, you know the facilities now of your tax, they are the same ones destroying things here. I don't know how you're gonna be like, but this is not good level of sportsmanship for Liberia. And and and, and, and it's, it's quite it's frustrating. There you see him destroying it. They are destroying it. And at the end, when Liberia is banned from playing international games, of course, they will say government. So, and of course, my sector, my sector is not free. We have to leave because the fans are throwing stones. They are throwing missiles at us. Fans are throwing stones and missiles are up. I don't know how it is. But this is not a good. I don't know. We are living. We are living a serious destruction. Uh, I don't know why. A serious destruction. Serious, serious destruction. The same thing that always says the government is not making the facility look good, but indeed they are here destroying. The, the Liberians are here destroying the facility. I can tell you, uh, one of the reasons why Liberia didn't play home games here for several years uh, was uh, the issue of uh, the players setting bench. And they managed to get the, a substantial one, but indeed Liberians are here destroying it. Uh, they are destroying it, and this is not good. Uh, huge presence of security apparatus. Uh, we we'll have to come here inside the summer kind of sports complex, and of course, our safety is key. We can't go too close. There you see it. There you see it. Security apparatus. They need to come to the player bench. Police have to come. Uh, they are still protecting the referee end. And of course, it is destructive here. Very, 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 very destructive. Even us journalists are not safe right now. Even us journalists are not safe right now. They are throwing stones at us. They are throwing stones. Grand Gillian are throwing stones. 
They are destroying things here. I don't know. <laughs>